Chris, how did you rebound from the dip you had this season? Uh, man, it's just just staying level-headed, uh, staying consistent with my work. Uh, it's always going to be ups and downs, but uh, it's about how you get up from it, uh, how you bounce back from it. So uh, that's how I uh, rebounded from that. Is there Was there anything you tapped into, I guess, you know, faith-wise, athletic-wise, uh, mentors? Uh, not really, man. It's just keeping my faith. Uh, you know, hard times, people usually uh, – tap more into their faith, but I just stay consistent with that. And uh, everything kind of turned around uh, 180, so I felt good about it. You know, now that you've done the 180 on the bad ankle, you know, three games with 100 yards in the last four, mm -hmm. how do you feel physically? Uh, I feel good, man. I'm still battling uh, through the ankle injury, but uh, just trying to be out there, man, trying to make the playoffs, uh, make a push. So uh, when, I'm, when I'm in the field, I'm 100%. So. How much did that play into anything this season, your, your ankle? Uh, no, it, it really just happened uh, in, in the uh, – I forget what uh, – against Carolina. Oh, that's that's when I got hurt. So, uh, since since then, it's just been been lingering. I've uh, been getting consistent treatment, though, and uh, just trying to be out there on Sundays. Chris, what's been the focus this week in practice now that it is kind of winner go home as far as the playoffs? We have to uh, win. Uh, yeah. there's, there's nothing about it. Uh, that's the mindset for everybody on the team. Just, just trying to get this win. Uh, I know it's a tough environment there on the winning streak right now, mm -hmm. but uh, that's what football is all about. So we got to go in there and try to get a win. What have you seen from their secondary and just remembering from week four what the Bucks do well there? Uh, they're really good. They, they're really good with their eyes. Their defense is really good uh, since last year since we played them. Uh, I know they be holding us down to, to a low amount of points, but and, uh, it's, a, it's a new game uh, come Sunday. So. Uh, we got to go in there and, like I said, we got to go compete and try, try to get a win. What do you remember about Antoine Winfield in that week four game and just how uh, challenging he is? Yeah, he's flying around, man. He's, he's, a, he's a great player. Uh, I know we, we all know where he's going to be at uh, in the backfield. So uh, we got to keep an eye on him. But uh, they got a lot of great players uh, around the whole field. So. Yeah, Chris, what's your, what's your sync, I guess, chemistry with Derek right now? We ain't getting better every week. Uh I know he's been uh, battling through a lot of stuff too, so uh, through injuries, through everything. So, uh, like I said earlier in the year, we kind of had a couple couple of miscues, but uh, as, as the season went on, we just kept getting better and better each week, and uh, now we depend on each other uh, every snap. So, have you guys, in that sense, had to grow as far as your communication? We talked with Derek Carr about how he's kind of had to learn how to speak to different players in different mm. ways. Have you guys maybe figured that out at this point? Yeah, I think we got to figure it out. We found we found out uh, how we do how we deal with adversity or uh, how we to speak to uh, speak to each other uh, uh, through adversity and communication. Communication is always a big thing for us. So, uh, like I said, I, I know I know more now than I did early in the season, uh, and that's continuing to grow. So, is that something that usually takes time between quarterback and wide receiver? Oh yeah, right yeah, definitely, um, definitely takes time to to build that that trust and that chemistry. Uh, but uh, we didn't have that long. I think he signed in the summer, so uh, we got some work in uh, the beginning of the year, but uh, it, it always takes reps to get better. So uh, uh, as we got reps throughout the year, we continue to get better, and uh, now we're here. Let's just, say, let's just say that. Like, you're talking about adversity and stuff you went through, but, like, you got 1,000 yards, two games off. Like, what does it, what's it mean that adversity is back? There's still, like, all this production. Like, what, how do you kind of look at that? I mean... Uh, it's crazy, man, just to think about that. Uh, I was going through it, a little slump in the middle of the year, but just to have 1,000 yards and, and 14 games is huge. So uh, you can look at it good and bad, but I know I can get a lot better too. So uh, I know the standard is, is real high uh, for me uh, by myself, but uh, I know a lot of other people depend on me too. So uh, I, I know I can get a lot better uh, going into next year. With that, how do you feel about your season as a whole? You know? I feel good, man. I mean, I, I had real high goals for myself at the beginning of the year, uh, but uh, God always has a different plan. So uh, I just stuck to it, stayed consistent, uh, got knocked down, uh, but always got always got back up. So uh, I'm excited for, for what I've been through uh, this year and the adversity I faced and uh, just getting back up from it. I know you said you leaned on your faith, but you and Michael Thomas are pretty close. How, how has he been? I know he's been away from the facility, but mm -hmm. have you guys been in communication? How has he maybe helped oh, you yeah. out? Yeah, that's my guy, man. I mean, he always looked out for me since I got here. 
Um, always good things when his when his name comes up. Uh, but it was a lot of different different vets that helped me out um, when I was going through it when I was down. So uh, shout out to all of them. And uh, like I said, Mike is, is one of the ones that I can lean on through anything. So. Oh really?